What is up, MFers? Welcome to another exciting video. It is 3.50 in the AM. Very, very early morning, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like this biological clock. My body's on because it's been like 95 degrees every day, and it's gonna be for the foreseeable future. Special video for you guys today. Waking up super early today because one of the local lakes that has really good bass as well as really good alligators in it that we're gonna be hunting today and going after that do get really giant um anyways there's an area of the lake that is closed actually for like eagle nesting or something it happens to be one of the best places to fish in the entire lake well it's been closed the entire year until this morning at midnight that lake opened up and there's probably 92 boats up there let's be honest they're probably already there already um but myself and your favorite porn stashed character on the show decided we better get up super early we're going to get there before the sun comes up um, before anything and hopefully try to be the first or one of the first boats there because it's not a very big area to fish the fish usually get freaking stacked in there so get the boat all loaded up get the gas in the boat and everything and i will see you guys at the lake let's go yeah buddy first one's at the ramp now porn stash needs to hurry his ass look who it is hello guys oh hold on you can't see my face because i got my head it's on. all red is there a red light on or something hold on you probably can't tell who it is because we're so early it's him he's here you might want to turn that off <laughs> josh is never gonna be able to see again but we made it we're here that's the uh sexy goodness right there the sexy goodness yeah we're about to explore this pretty jacked we are the first boat up here this morning these fish have not been touched in eight months up in this spot. We got moving water, we got grass, we got reeds, we got all different types of uh, arrowhead type leafy vegetations up there. We got a little waterfall, guys. Time to go do some exploring. All right, here we go, guys. You can't see a damn thing that's going on up here, but you know what? I guess that's just gonna add to the charm. I'm starting with top water. Josh is mixing it up and starting with top water. Um, we're doing all sorts of different stuff up here today. I must throw a frog if you're gonna throw that guy. And hopefully one of us gets bit off by an alligator. That's what we're hoping for today, guys. I can't see, Dad. Oh. I sure did. We have fish. No. Not a bad. Pretty good one. What's that on crankbait? Nope, chattering bait. Chattering bait. Not bad, two pounder, two and a quarter or something. There's a fish up there somewhere. I swear. Yeah, two a fish maybe. Yeah. <laughs> good work, Josh. All right, two bites. Got a topwater bite. It's obviously a little dark. You guys just hold on. Just be patient and stuff. There we go. Got that little bass head that came and bit my frog. Come here, dickhead. I got one on. It's on the old worm stick guy, the six cents one. I don't know what it's called. You guys can see a silhouette of a fish right now. <laughs> there is indeed a fish. We're just warming up here in the dark. Got a nice little two pounder. Get away from me. Oh, shit. Had one? Yeah. What are you, a chatterbait? Yeah. Damn. I don't know where you guys can see this, but here's what I caught him on. The old six cents guy. Brand new worm. Really good follow-up to the frog bite situation. Texas rigged. Bingo. There we go. Get out of there, Timmy. On the old frog. I got it too. The old waterfall pattern. Mr. Frog choking her guy. All right, Josh, it might be worth it. We just got up yonder way. Early Shirley bite. Watch this shit. It just blew my frog out of the water, but yeah, it missed it. 
He was right on the edge. Got him that time. No. That's just a big large head. Come here, bud! Yeah, man. <laughs> he only bit once. Dude, he was in like inches of water. That'll be good. Good old froggy fish. Yay, froggy fishes. Got it freaking deep. For those of you guys, good God, he is like super pissed off. I'm getting back in the water. Nice little three and a half pounder. Yeah, bud. But for those of you guys that like to fish stuff that looks like this, whether from the bank or a boat or whatever, current fishing 101. Largemouth enjoy being next to current, but they're different from smallmouth. They can't be in it. They want to be out of the way. Those get, that guy was right on the edge, like touching the side. And he freaking destroyed my frog. Blew it out of the water once and missed it. Second time, did not miss it. But we've tried all over. Tried here, trying over there. Nothing. But I got bit right on the edge there and right on the edge there. So they want to be near it. They just don't want to be in it. Get out of there. Yep. I have one on, I think. Broke his face off. Dirty frog slurper in the waterfall. Freaking eating it deep. I'll take it. They're eating the frog, Josh. They're eating it. That's big. Oh, God. Porn stash might have hooked our first al algalator. <laughs> He's going out to sea. Just went over the spot. Little hump. We saw. C10, bud. Oh, man. Yeah, that ain't a... Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. That's dude. a big one. That is what we're after, dude. That thing has it down. Did you see that? The yeah, that's gone. a good thing that you got your uh, leader, leader going. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. That's a big, dude. That is a that's giant. A that is a big, dude. That's the probably upper... That might even... That's like a 38. That's a big one, bud. That's large. All right. Uh, Good job, Josh. High five, Dad. High five. I got my pike head. All it's right. nice. Drop him over the side. Correct. He's already wrecked my net and he's getting through it. We gotta, we gotta get our poop in the group. Let him get his breather. Yeah, he's choked off. Dude, he's got it down. But look, he went through the net. Oh, he broke your net. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's a large one. That's the big one, bud. I would have pooped my pants if that came through the ice hole. Oh yeah, I tried a lot ice fishing for one of these. You cried a lot ice fishing for one? Yeah, pretty much. Sweet. Oh, He's gonna bleed everywhere though. Yeah. I'll put him next to a rod and we'll measure on the rod where he was. <laughs> All right, let's get her back. Hell yeah, man. But yeah. Beautiful fish. Digging. That's what we're here for. Okay. Uh, that was fun. That was cool. That was a thick one. You said we're gonna pr measure on the rod a little bit, but probably close to 40 inch pike. I'd say wide guy, not a long one though. Wide conservatively guy, conservatively 37 plus at least. I like Upper it. That's one of the things that lives here though. I was telling you guys about. Um, and we're actually fishing on the spot that has not been closed, but up there we caught a bunch of bass. Josh, I think, lost a pike. Um, I did. But yeah, he, he just caught that one on the six cent C10 uh, fishing out in the channel. I don't know oh. the colors. I just say, hey, look, I have a crankbait. You're the one that knows all the colors. I'm what is it, like citrus shad? I think it's a crankbait, I think. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not citrus. That's like blue true shad or something. It's blue back. It is that. Side. It is that. Yeah, I just yeah. Bought it. That sounds good. Uh, so yeah, let's keep casting and see if we can catch another one. Let's do it. Different scales on it. Yep. Oh, I thought he was a pike face. It is. <laughs> he bit like he was. He freaking went like, dink, straight sideways. I'm not that mad about it. That's a pretty solid bass fish. Did you? Poles aren't down. Drop the poles. 
hey we're back to the waterfall and we're catching fish this time though on a different bait than you guys usually see me throw the spinner blade i wanted something that i could see and kind of count down to them on the pan optics when we were out in the middle of this channel pike fishing and the, the water color is right for it too it's a little darker water than i usually like to throw a swim jig so here i am with the stupid ass old school spinner bait but i can't complain because <laughs> i just got one <laughs> Oh, that's that's a pike face. Josh has a pike on. What is that on a frog? Yep. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, the oh, oh, the whole Josh's tackle just dumped out. <laughs> the net's all cock dicked. Is that a whale? Oh no! He bit it. He didn't break it off though. That's all I care about. That <laughs> Sorry. Was so cool. That was neat. Sorry about all your tackle. No, I don't care. <laughs> the net was stuck on it. I'm just glad he didn't. God, you're like the pike whisper. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. It wasn't as big as the one you caught, at least. Oh. But it was long. It was longer, just not as thick. Honestly. That might have been him. It's a pissed off fish, dude. They're healthy. Yeah. Another solid wand. Popping frog. Reason I'm throwing the old popping frog. You guys wonder why I switched over to that. Start with the regular. There's a lot of current. Water is muddy. Chocolate milk. So I want something I can make a lot of noise and ruckus with immediately. First throw in there. Because that one... I didn't get the best cast. I missed my spot by about a foot. But when I popped it, he saw it right away. He probably wouldn't have seen a regular frog. Wing ding. Giants. Giants only. On the road. In theory, wonder if there's a bunch of grass up on this shit or not. Oh, Smoke City! God dang, I didn't get a very good hook in him either. Yeah, that's a solid wand. Picked up the old swim jig. Come here, bud. Yay! The old. Brand, dude, it's back on. Brand new six cent swim jig trailer. Not swim jig trailer, the swim bait. We'll call it a swim jig trailer. Sweet. I think that's sun gill color. Nice little three and a half for guy. He freaking stopped it. I rod one. Doom. Hey, we fished together. <laughs> Oh, hey, we're off the water, guys. Uh, pretty solid day, actually. Things slowed dramatically after the uh, the little early, early morning slay fest we had up there, way up at the uh, the spillway, the waterfall area. Super cool area that we found that we fished in the past a few times, but um, we've never done that well there before. Popping frog on top, swim jig, caught on a spinner bait. And this clown back here managed three or four pike bites. He hooked three, caught two. One was basically to the boat. Yeah. Two of them were big. Pretty pretty damn good day. Had, had a lot of bass, had, had opportunities to pikes. I think I missed a couple pikes, pecking at it, small bites, big swirls, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, all in all, definitely a good time. And uh, we see more of him very soon. Sure, we'll figure out you know what we learned? What did we learn? No way that That's not what we learned. <laughs> It was the best spot today though, for sure, man. That's where our, all the freaking fish were. So maybe if you guys want to see me go fish a spillway with the master of the spillways right behind me, definitely leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what else you want to see moving forward. But got some more bass fish and stuff coming up very, very soon. And I appreciate each and every one of you MFers for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to you too. I didn't meet you on the water, but they, they said, what's up? They said they watch our videos and like. So if you guys are watching, thank you for saying hi. And uh, catch you guys very soon. Right here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.